Brendan Fraser has revealed that folks have been saying his name wrong for yonks and I am confused to say the least. Fraser spilled the beans during Variety's latest Actors on Actors interview with Fraser and Adam Sandler, where the dynamic duo had a We Airheads reunion. It's a film I've never seen but somehow vividly remember due to its iconic cover art, which I walked past a million times at Blockbuster when I was a child. Anyway, Sandler introduced Fraser by saying, Ladies and gentlemen, Brendan F-R-A-A-A-A-Y-Y-Z-Z-S-S-S, how do you say it again? And Mr. George of the Jungle corrected him. It's Frazier, like that thing you shave with Fraser replied. Let me say Frazier, Sandler said. You know what? Nobody has ever gotten my name right, Fraser posited. Sandler then reintroduced Fraser with, ladies and gentlemen, Brendan Frazier, and said it didn't sound right. It felt good, though, Fraser replied. And seen, yes, I have thoughts and feelings, why do you ask? First things first, I do not wish to sound like a close mind swine. I understand that not all words are pronounced phonetically. However, I simply do not understand how else Brendan Fraser's name can be pronounced other than Brendan Fraser. Or Fraza, if you want to be really picky about the way Aussies would say it. Is this simply an American thing, like how they say, aluminum, foil and pronounce Craig, like it rhymes with egg? Or how they say, caramel, like that second A, deadass, doesn't exist? If so, how are they under the belief that Brendan Fraser's name is pronounced like Kelsey Grammer's Fraser Crane, the titular character in Fraser? There is no I in Fraser, so why would it be pronounced like Fraser? Also, Fraser started in 1993, and Fraser made his film debut in 1991 in a flick called Dogfight. Unlike the chicken and the egg, we know that the Fraser came before the Fraser, so how did this rogue I sound appear in the actor's name? I am going delirious. I don't know what is real or fake anymore. Alas, Twitter reacted to the news in a way which I can only imagine is similar to when people learned that Alexander Fleming had discovered penicillin. Shock, wonder, awe and intrigue. Brendan Fraser, if you're reading this, I am so sorry that folks have been butchering your name since day dot. Judging by this clip I found on Twitter, it would appear this mispronunciation thing has been going on for a while. Thoughts, prayers, commiserations and so on, my king. Image, Getty Images, Jamie McCarthy.